Welcome to Sound Without Nation. This is Frank, and I'm on a mission. I'm going to find a new friend today. I'm headed to Lowe's. I'm going to buy a plant. Let's do that now. All right, here we are at Lowe's. And this section is kind of hidden away. But I was there a few days earlier, so I, I found out where it was. And they looked like they only had two left. But look at the those. Uh, some of them are dried out. They're black. And uh, there's a, a reason for that. I'm, I'm counting the traps here. They, they, both of those looked like they had four, four traps that were uh, nice and green. Got it. Taking this guy home. And just give it some, some distilled water and put it in the windowsill. It is getting getting late, so there's not going to be that much sun. But in the morning, there's going to be plenty of sun. And uh, yeah, I'll monitor it. And as it grows, uh, I'll, I'll buy a new uh, a pot and their soil peat moss and something else. I'll look it up. But yeah, have a little Venus flight trap. All right, here it is. I already put some distilled water in there. In the morning, I opened up the, the blinds. In the morning, it's going to get a lot of sunlight. And I'll see how, how it is. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm going to have to get a new planter soon so it has room to to grow but yeah I got a little Venus fly trap and uh, let's hope that uh, this little guy you know gets uh, gets better has a chance to thrive a chance to live looks like it was in a rut as well All right so I'm cleaning here because I was editing the, the video and cut some, some stuff out. Uh, I repeated myself and there's a lot of uh, just empty space. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right. So I was on a mission, a rescue mission, because what happens a lot with carnivorous plants, Venus fly traps, or pitcher plants. I didn't see any pitcher plants there. But... Um, when you get them from big box stores like Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, places like that, uh, you saw that little plastic container. Well, they don't really put those in the sunlight, and those kind of containers like are very restrictive. And they're not they're not watering them, <laughs> so they need sunlight and they they need distilled water, not uh, tap water, not not uh, purified water, filtered water. It has to be distilled water or rain water. Uh, but distilled water works. I got a gallon of that from Walmart. Uh, so I got it just so I can get this Venus fly trap. Uh, I had one before in 2020. It died because I was giving it... Um, uh, purified water and it burned down burned out the the roots eventually it did live for for a while but uh, it ended up just getting uh, uh, burned out uh, so uh, this time I wanted to make sure I had distilled water and I didn't buy it until I had it uh, so with plenty of sunlight water yeah, you got. Uh, I mean, don't overdo it, but just give it a good amount of water, of uh, 
rainwater or distilled water. And, uh, you know, there's also going to be the dormancy, but I'll deal with that later. And, uh, you know, that one had some, uh, some black, black leaves and, you know, some of the traps were just, like, uh, you know, dried out. Uh, so, you know, that, that's what happens. <laughs> And they they the, the, that is natural, so you can you can remove them. Uh, but uh, sometimes they're just kind of, you know, it's it, it's normal. But if they they're dried out, is like, uh, yeah, it's because uh, just just where it was, uh, like especially these, you saw in the video there were only two left. Then there was another one, and there were some bigger ones, but those were like, um, uh, uh, like the seeds and the plants were, were dormant, so you would have to uh, wake them up. There, those were more kits where you take care of them, and and you know, once I'm I'm better at taking care of this one, maybe I'll try one of those. But there was a little one hidden, like right underneath. Uh, some other some other stuff and uh, like there was no sunlight there at all so it's, I, I took it out let's see if this turns into a nice big giant fly trap that sings and talks one can only hope this has been Frank Salazar we'll see you next time